Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host Jennifer Gianni, and today we are discussing pelvic floor palpation and palpating the pelvic floor on your own. Now this is, you know, a touchy subject, and, um, but it, it's one that you might think about for yourself or as a suggestion for your client. So a lot of times it is very, very difficult for us to sense our pelvic floor muscles. And when the doctors tell clients to do their Kegels or when we're cueing it in the studio to activate your pelvic floor, very, very elusive for people. And they're really not doing it in the correct way a lot of times. And then a lot of people say, well, the Kegels don't work. It's not that they don't work. It's that we're doing them incorrectly. And we're using a part of our body so far away from those pelvic floor muscles that the pelvic floor is just going to sleep while we work our glutes and our quadriceps and our belly. So I've mentioned a number of different things in the studio like heat and rolled up towels. I've also mentioned the stop test that you can also do every once in a while to find those muscles. But sometimes nothing really helps. And so you might suggest that a client palpate their own pelvic floor muscles. And they use this, their thumb. <laughs> That's the simplest thing, right? And so alone in their house, put the thumb into the vagina. The thumb stays still, right? The thumb is just there to sense the activation. So the thumb is in the vagina, relaxed, and they're trying to activate through the pelvic floor. Now another thing that we can use, um, and this has a very unfortunate name, but it's called the Kegel Master. And it is a thing that it's a, looks like a penis, and it has little springs inside of it. So you insert it into the vagina, and when you insert it into the vagina, there's a very small opening. And when you activate the pelvic floor muscles, it comes together. And then when you relax the pelvic floor muscles, it goes apart. And that's a very, very helpful tool. Another thing that's been very, very helpful for a lot of my clients is to use vaginal weights. And with that, you insert them and then you go about doing stuff around the house or your housework and seeing how long you're able to keep those weights in. And you would only probably do it for max 10 to 20 minutes. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.